guys, I'm Nia. Welcome to or back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing 50 things to do when you're bored at home. Because of the current situation at the moment, many people are in quarantine, self-isolating, and they're just stuck in their house and have nothing to do. So this video is going to be 50 things to do when you're bored. So hopefully this video will help you guys out and give you some ideas of what you can do when you're stuck at home. At the start, I feel like everyone was happy that they were going to be stuck at home. But when you are actually in your house, it's a lot more boring than you thought it would be. So I made a list on my phone of 50 things you can do when you're bored that will definitely keep you occupied and entertained. So without further ado, let's get on with this video. Before I start my list, I just wanted to say that none of these things are in any specific order. So you can do any one first, any one last, or just the ones that interest you. So yeah, let's get on with the list. The first thing on my list is start a YouTube channel. Starting a YouTube channel takes up so much time to edit, film and plan videos and it's also super fun to do so if you have spare time then definitely make a YouTube channel. The next thing on my list is watch YouTube videos because literally everyone is self isolating. Many YouTubers are posting more content because they have more time to do it when they're stuck at home. And you can also watch my videos because I'm also going to be posting a lot more now I'm home from school. The next thing on my list is take pictures. You can take them for Instagram or just for fun. You could also edit pictures. I like to use Visco to edit all my photos and it's a really good app and really easy to use. So I definitely recommend that if you take any photos you should edit them. You could read any book that you've wanted to read or a book that you've already read. But if you don't like reading you could also listen to audiobooks. I know Audible has some good books. And I mean, if you also don't like listening to books, you could just not read. You could also write music, so you could write a piece on the piano, a piece on whatever instrument you play. That is also connected to my next thing on my list, which is make original songs. If you like writing music and singing, then you should definitely make your own music. I have made a lot of original songs that are on my channel, so you guys can check them out if you want some inspiration. The next thing on my list is make a new playlist. So if you just want to gather all the new songs that you've been listening to, then definitely just make a playlist with all of those songs. You could also learn a new instrument. Because you have so much spare time on your hands, why not learn a new instrument? Or you could also just learn something new like a language. You could learn how to cook a meal. You could literally learn anything that you want to learn that you've never had the time for because now now you do. The next thing is pretty obvious and you're probably already doing this but you could get something to eat like a snack. Comment down below if you guys would like me to make like snack ideas so you could try making them and then you get some inspiration of what you'd like to eat as a snack. My next thing is make a smoothie. Smoothies taste so good. In one of my videos, I think it was one of my self care videos, I made a smoothie and I told you guys what was in it and it is literally the best smoothie ever and it's so simple. So you probably already have all the ingredients in your house. Yeah, you could make a smoothie that you like so you keep hydrated. You could also bake something like cookies, brownies, cake. Baking takes a really long time because if you want to, you can decorate your cake and that takes a really long time. And also just to make anything takes a long time as well. My next thing is play with a pet or go on a walk with your pet. This will release your stress by playing with a pet and it will just take your mind off all the schoolwork that you have to do or any homework or things that you need to get done. If you don't have a pet you can just enjoy the fresh air and walk by yourself. The next thing on my list is exercise. So you could go for a run or you could just work out in your room by doing like an ab workout, an arm workout or a full body workout. Whatever you want to do but it's really good to stay active whilst you're indoors. For one of the days that you're inside you could do a self care day. I actually have many of these on my channel so you guys can see them for inspiration of what you could do in your self care day. But these are some of the things that I do. You could do a face mask, you could paint your nails, you could wash your hair, you could do a bath with bath bombs and you could light a candle. That could probably fill up half to one of your days and I'm sure all my other tips will fill up your quarantine time. The next thing you could do is your schoolwork. Most of the schools that have shut are now doing online schooling so they're transferring all their work onto an online system which is what my school has done. So yeah, make sure you stay on top of all your online work and keep up to date with it and stay in contact with your teacher so you know when stuff is due. You could also do your homework which is also related 
related to schoolwork. But for example, my online system, we have our online day of school, and then we also have to get homework that we do after our online day. The next thing you can do is learn a new TikTok dance. These are super fun, but a lot of them are pretty hard, so it might take some time. And if you don't have TikTok or you're not allowed to get it, then you could just learn a dance and you can watch YouTube videos to help you learn dances because there are many tutorials out there. You could also watch TikToks, but it's probably not a smart one because if you're just scrolling through TikTok, you could be on there all day and it's just not very productive. I don't really recommend watching TikToks, but if you have nothing else to do, then I guess you could. The next thing you could do is clean your room. If you have random stuff just lying everywhere, then just clean it out completely. And this leads on to my next point, which is organize your drawers. So just go through all the drawers in your desk and just clean out any old papers, things that you don't use anymore, because it will also clear some space. The next thing you could do is do a closet makeover. So you could reorganize your closet, get rid of old clothes that you don't need anymore. The next thing that you could do is journal and write about what's going on in your life. I know many people are having a hard and stressful time at the moment, so it's just good to write down all your thoughts. Then it can reduce your stress and make you feel a lot more relaxed. I also just want to send all my love and support to anyone who's going through a hard time at the moment. You could also bullet journal by writing like to-do lists. The next thing is organize your school supplies. You won't be back at school until two weeks or longer. So it's just good to stay organized and have all your school supplies in one place. You could also go through your school folders, throw away any papers that you don't need anymore because it will just clear some space in your folders and they'll be less heavy to carry around. You could also practice something you're passionate about. For me, it's singing and dancing, so I could just practice that in my room. But whatever you enjoy doing or you're passionate about, then just practice that. You could practice a sport slash sports. Reorganize your phone. I do this by color and I also have a video that's showing what's on my iPhone. So you guys can go check that out because that has like how I organize my phone and the apps that I have on my phone. So yeah, you could also watch a new movie or an old movie. Movies are really long so if you just binge watch loads of movies, then it will take up a lot of time. You could also draw slash doodle. I'm not that good at drawing but I do like doing it so I will do that if I have any spare time time. You could also make friendship bracelets. I have embroidery thread that I just got from Amazon and it is so 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 fun to make friendship bracelets but it does take a lot of time so that will definitely fill up a lot of your day. You could also film a YouTube video what I'm doing right now. This takes up a lot of time. This video time is already at 23 minutes so that is already a lot of my time used up. And yeah, it's super fun. You could make a vlog, just a sit down video, an introductory video. There are endless videos that you could do, so I definitely think you'll have something to film. You could also edit a video if you make one in the end. Some of my videos take up to a day to edit. If you do any complicated edits, so editing will definitely take up a lot of your time. You could go through your phone and cut down on your storage. You can do this by deleting old photos, deleting movies that you don't watch anymore, deleting games that you don't play anymore, deleting apps that you don't use anymore, and you can just go through your phone and delete anything that you don't need. The next thing that you could do is try and do a DIY. You could sew something, you could make a scrunchie, I know that's pretty popular and there are many tutorials on that, but if you just want to make something yourself then you could definitely do that. Now my next two points are kind of related, so I have yoga and meditation. Yoga is so relaxing and it really just puts your mind in a better place. And because of all the stressful news that's going around, it's just good to get things off of your mind, meditate, do yoga, do whatever makes you feel happy. I know a good app for meditating is Headspace, but honestly, you could just sit on your own and just think through all the thoughts that are going through your head and try and get all the negative thoughts out. You could also call or FaceTime a friend. You could change your phone background. Sometimes I just leave my phone just one color background. Sometimes I will do a photo, but it's good to change it up every once in a while. You could also recreate Pinterest photos or celebrities Instagram photos or just anyone's photos. You could send streaks to your friends on Snapchat or just look through Snapchat. You could also play games on your phone. Some games that I recommend are Snake vs Block, Rise Up, 2048 Balls and Piano Tiles. I really like those games but if you have any ones that you like then you could just play them. You could also try new hairstyles. Nobody's really going to be seeing you apart from your family so it doesn't matter if they look bad but it's good to experiment because you might really 
really end up liking one and then it might be your new favorite hairstyle. Another thing you could do is curl or straighten your hair. For me, I would have to curl it because my hair is literally dead straight. But if you have curly hair, then you could straighten your hair and see what it looks like. That was my last thing that you could do when you were bored, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you got some ideas. I'm sure there was one that you liked in those 50 things to do when you're bored. So yeah, make sure you subscribe down below because I will be posting a lot more content and also turn on the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye!